Hello, I'm Jennifer Smith from Dead Shit FX and I want to show you today how to make a frost shape wig base construction. Firstly, I would like to tell you a little bit about frost shape and what it is. So this is frost shape. Um, frost shape is a non-woven heat activated fabric. Uh, this comes in two different thicknesses, so it can either be come in 300 or 600. Uh, this is 300, obviously 600 is a little bit thicker. Frost shape can be used to make props, uh, masks, costumes, commonly used with top hats. Um, it can also be sewn, uh, it can be dyed uh, and cut and it bonds to itself. So to get started to, uh, to be able to cut up the fabric you will need a template of your model's head, some scissors, some pins, obviously your frost shape and a block head. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to uh, cut this into three sections to be able to then pin it to my boss shape. <laughs> Once all your uh, your three sections are cut out, uh, this is then at the point where we have to sew it together to reform the head shape. At this point, I'm going to need my block head here. Um, this I will pin on the uh, template to then reform the structure to be able to stitch it together. my scissors, uh, my invisible string and a curved knee needle um, and I'm not going to remove any of the excess around the areas for a minute because that won't be seen once it's all stitched and um, we've got to consider the fact that the wash shape uh, shrinks back by 30% so we don't want uh, the project to be ill-fitting to the model. stitched together um, you need a steamer I don't own a costume steamer so I am using the Morphe Richard steam cleaner <laughs>
wig base. Um, you can rotate it round. Um, this will hide the seams. And this will bring you on to then to stitching on your wefts. You can do this via a machine or you can hand stitch it. And yeah, it will look good once it's done. Um, don't forget to check out my website. It's uh, deadshedeffects.com. And yeah, thanks for watching.